with the latest. Brian, do we have any more details? Have they located any of the animals? Yeah, I can check it. Unfortunately, we do. The news is sad, and unfortunately, it keeps getting worse. I actually just spoke to a woman who lives inside this home. You can see it behind me. It is a complete loss. Several investigators still here mopping up, but again, this home is a complete loss. Now, I just did speak to this woman who lives inside here. She tells me that five of her dogs are dead. She also fears four of her cats have been killed, and another cat is missing, and I believe another dog is missing as well. We're told 15 dogs dogs lived inside and at least probably four to six cats. So again, five of her dogs are dead, four cats, and she is absolutely distraught right now. We did just catch an interview with her on camera. We'll bring that to you in about half an hour from now, but she says she has no idea what she's going to do. And the good news is though, she is wheelchair bound and she almost died in this fire. Her fiance had to break through the bedroom window and drag her out. And uh, it was a very close call for her, but she did get out alive. There were there six people total inside of this house. They all did get out okay, but one person was taken to the hospital. A couple others were treated here at the scene for smoke inhalation. But again, the sad news here, five dogs dead, four cats as well. And they're now awaiting Red Cross assistance here. She said everything in this house is a complete loss. Her son is out here visiting from Nebraska for the holidays. He's the one at the hospital. Now he got hurt by trying to break through the window and get her out. So he has some kind of huge laceration on his arm. So he's in the hospital. She has no idea how he's doing right now. She says he is not in good shape. So the news here is sad. The good news, everyone did get, get out okay. But again, five dogs dead, four cats. And she's wondering where she's going to go, what she's going to do. She says everything inside her house is completely gone. We're going to continue to stay out here, monitor the situation, and we'll bring you that interview coming Coming up on Fox 11 in about 20 minutes from now. From Midtown, I'm Ryan Fran, Fox 11, Tucson Now. All right, thanks, Ryan. Devastating news.